Hey guys, it's Agonis Dermer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you some of the top most used VS Code extensions, particularly the ones that I really enjoy using by working with Unity in C Sharp or actually .NET in general. So as you can see right now, this, this class that I'm looking at, the project editor, has few changes. I can see that my name, I can see when it was changed and also tells me the commit message. So I can now look in and see what I changed. So if I click on changes, it's going to give me an overview of the old file and also the new file. I can see that I added this private variable, this other private variable, also this unenabled method with the basically the expression in it. I can also, also see that I remove, you know, from the left side, I remove this project reference that I created and also remove it on this side. And I can see that I added a new method and also with the line number. So it's really easy to see, you know, anything that is in green that was added, anything in red was removed. And it just gives me a comparison between, you know, between those two. The the other thing that I that I can also see is I can look at the line number. So if I, let's say that I select this one right here, I can see that this was added six days ago on this commit message. If I click on this one right here, it shows me that the project was added 13 days ago and I added additional rules for windows, doors, and roof. So it's really flexible when it comes to, you know, to find out what you, you know, what, what I added. The other thing that I wanted to show you is, let's say that you want to go and, and find out what extension I'm using. So if you want to download it, this extension, make sure that you download it because it's really helpful. It's called Git Lens and Git Supercharge. And it, and it is really supercharged because there's a lot of different options and a lot of things that I haven't really been using yet, but they are available for me. So another other thing that I can also do is you have different options in here. It shows me the actual GUI of the commit that I did. I can look at the commit details. I also can see the changes just like I showed you before. I can also look at and blame the previous revision. I can open the remote. I can, you know, look at more options. So if I click on look at more actions, I can. So there's just a lot of different, you know, I can apply changes, open the revision in GitHub. I can open the file. If I wanted to open the file, which I already have open, you can see it in here. And I can also, you know, get an overview of everything that was added. So that is one of them that I use quite a bit. I also use the built-in Git that it's built into VS Code. So if I look in here, I can see anything that I added. Let's say that I make a change to a file. Let's go ahead and go back into the file. And let's say that I add another variable here. Let's say this was Progen2. For some reason, I wanted to, I needed to add another one. Then I can look in here in my, you know, my changes. This file was added to a change history. So if I close it and I click in here and we look for the file, you can see that the file is also added. So the other extension that I also use is basically the material icons. You can see that this is a C sharp file and it shows me an icon for the C sharp file. So that's another one that I really like. I can also see that this variable was added. So I just clicked on it. And if I wanted to commit it and make, and make these changes and change it and send it to GitHub, I can click in this, those, on these three dots. I can commit all. I can pull if I wanted to pull. I can push. So basically the whole, you know, the whole, the whole workflow that, that comes with Git is all available as part, of, uh, as part of VS Code. So the other thing that I can also do if I wanted to undo what I did, I can click on this icon here and I can discard my changes. And that's going to allow me to, you know, go back to where I was before. Another tool that I also use, if we go, let's go ahead and look at my extension. So I'm using Git Lens. I show you that. I also use Material Icon Theme, which if we go here, you can see that I have the C Sharp icons. This one is a C Sharp project, so you can see that icon. This is a written file, so you can see that icon. So I really like using that because it gets me, you know, it feels more like we're in Visual Studio on the on the actual Visual Studio and not the VS Code. So it really supercharges VS Code. The other one that I really wanted to show you that I use a lot is Partial Diff. And Partial Diff is one of those tools that I I couldn't I really couldn't do my job better without without this tool. The reason why I like this tool so much is because as coders, we always have to look at differences, right? We always want to compare, make sure that our code is clean, make sure that we didn't introduce new bugs. So doing comparisons, the way that this tool allows me to do a comparison is really, really powerful. So let's say that this version of the room component was changed. I'm going to be, let's go ahead and create a new file. And let's say that I put this one, for instance, I have this one on my desktop. Let's say that I put, I pull this from, from another repo and this one is called room components. And then let's let's say that this was, you know, number two and it's also a C-sharp file. 
And, but maybe on this one, I had number 10 here. I have, let's say that I, I was implementing the void awake method in here. And we can just do that. And I'm just gonna add some variations here so that we can have some differences. It's gonna add if just multiple times. So, so a lot of times we, you know, if we have a different repo, we, you know, we, we have a tool such as diff merge or, or et cetera, any other tool that is available out there already. But I think this tool does a really good job because I can do something like this. Let's say that this was on a remote and I wanted to do a comparison. So one of the things that I could do is I can say, okay, you know what? I want to compare this. I can right click in here and I can say, you know what? I want to select this text for a compare so I can click on that. I can go back to this other file and I can select it all as well. And I can right click as well. And I can, I have a few options. I can say, I can select this text for compare or I can compare this text with the previous selection, which is what I just did. So if I select that and let me collapse this so that you can see, I can see exactly what changed between these two files. I can see that the ray distance on my first room component had, was zero and I changed it to 10. I can see that in, on this new version, I have the awake meta. And I can also see that I have multiple if statements, which is what we basically did. So this is really cool because you can basically select what to compare. Let's say that I only wanted to compare for whatever reason, the private variables. I can go back to my file, which is the root component. And I can just select, okay, you know what? I just want to compare this area. I'm going to select that area and I'm gonna say, okay, select text for compare. And I can go to the other one and do the same thing. I can go, I can go ahead and select. Let me make sure that I select that again. Right click on it. And then select with the compare with the t with the previous selection. I think I'm I'm speaking too fast, and that's the comparison that happens. So I really like that up that tool because it allows me to do comparisons that easy. There's a lot more options in it that I haven't experimented with. So make sure that you check it out. It's partial diff, and the overview shows you some of the things that you can do to basically run a comparison. So that's everything that I wanted to show you today. I also have a lot more extensions that I use, so you can look at them through here. But those are some of the ones that I use the most throughout VS Code. Thank you very much, guys.